Welcome back dear students. In the previous session, we were having two components of health infrastructure to be studied in detail. But now, the energy component has been deleted and we are left with only one component of infrastructure in our syllabus and that is health. So, let's do the detailing of this and in this module, we will be learning about the meaning and importance of health and further, what is the state of health infrastructure in our country. So, let's see what is health. Health does not merely means absence of disease. Sirf hum bimar nahi hai, toh hum healthy hai, aisa nahi hai. Health is a state of physical, complete physical and mental well-being of a person along with the social well-being. It means we are physically and mentally fit and fine plus we are socially healthy enough to survive in the society to mix up with the other sections of the society. So this includes state of physical, mental as well as social well-being of a person so that he finds a way to a healthy lifestyle, a healthy living being. That is the meaning of health. Now, why is health important? Health does not mean the absence of disease. It is the ability to achieve one's potential. Agar aap healthy hai, fit and fine hai, physically, mentally strong hai, socially, mix up hai society ke saath, to hi aap society mein survive karoge. Plus, you will become more capable to earn your livelihood. It indicates overall growth and development of a nation. It improves the efficiency and productivity of a person. You can take your own example. If you are not feeling well, maybe you are feeling drowsy, maybe you are feeling feverish. In that well-being, you are not able to even study well. So, how could the people earn their livelihood if they are not healthy enough? That is why health is important because it improves the efficiency and productivity of a person. Healthy manpower is essential for country's progress. Healthcare facilities should be made available to the people at affordable rates. Therefore, we say that health is an important component of infrastructure in our nation. Only a healthy person, a healthy living being, a person who is physically, mentally, socially, fit, fine, strong and healthy, that person will be able to earn his livelihood in a better manner in comparison to the person who is ill. Let's see what is the state of health infrastructure in our nation. Central Council of Health and Family Welfare collects information and provides financial and technical support to state governments to implement health care programs. See students, now these health care programs as uh, we know that they are healthcare programs they have also been divided into three parts primary secondary and tertiary and moreover the central government is providing the help to all the state governments to know about their financial and technical support whatever is required the central government is providing to the state government phcs are the primary healthcare centers they have been set up at the village level there are large number of hospitals run by voluntary organizations and the private sector. So, not only the public sector is playing an important role in the development of health infrastructure, but private sector also supports. Medical and paramedical professionals are trained in large number of medical, pharmacy and nursing colleges so that further they could be deputed in different hospitals and further after being trained they prove to be a support for the society, support for developing the human, uh, human health so that they could contribute enough to the economic infrastructure. They can contribute enough to the earning of income in return. During the period from 1951 to 2018, the number of hospitals and dispensaries also, they were increased from 9,300 to 53,800. Number of beds, they increased from 1.2 to 7.0 lakhs during the same period. It means we are on the path of progress. Health infrastructure mein hum private sector bhi support kar raha hai public sector ko aur yaha hum improve bhi kar rahe hai. Number of doctors, they increased from merely 62,000 to 11.5 lakhs. Number of nurses also increased from 18,000 to 30 lakhs. Diseases like smallpox, guinea worms was eradicated 
polio and leprosy are near eradication so what do we understand we understand that the state of health infrastructure which was not at all developed few years back it is gradually on the path of development because we understand the importance of health agar person healthy hai to hi country ki gdp grow karegi aap sochiye aisi country jahan sab log bimar hain us bimar country mein us aisi country mein jahan ke citizens bimar hain physically mentally fit fine healthy nahi hain wo gdp ko grow kaise karenge so health infrastructure is important and we are on the path of progress of developing the health infrastructure by increasing the number of hospitals number of doctors number of nurses number of beds in the hospitals and so on rest we'll continue in the next video thank you